Hey Star Wars fans, friends and collectors out there, welcome back to another video. We've got a Black Series, Obi-Wan Kenobi, I only just did the Vintage Collection version of this uh, just the other day, so excited to have the uh, Black Series version in hand. Um, yeah, really, really thrilled about this one. Yeah, it was the last one I needed, I've uh, just haven't got around to, haven't got around to grabbing it, so here it is, number one. Awesome artwork on the back. I think at the end of the day, we're all sort of hanging out for that Jabim Obi Wan um, in his more Jedi robes. But this one's cool. I'm really looking forward to the Obi Wan that's going to come with the blue, with the blue robes from right at the start of the of the series. So, but yeah, again, coming with a pistol, a little Lola, a little. See what that is? It's a little ball joint with a clip, a little buzzsaw looking thing, and of course his lightsaber, which looks like a new sculpt, looks to be a little bit thicker and heavier than previous iterations of Obi-Wan's lightsaber, which is nice because some of them were a little on the flimsy side. So without further ado, let's open up the figure and take a look. And here is Mr. Kenobi. Ben Kenobi straight out of the packaging. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the lightsaber. I'm gonna move him so that we'll focus on the slightly smaller thing that's in front. So yeah, I believe this is a new sculpt. Um, just looking at, no, there's no sort of extra peg, like a little pop in, it's just sort of a nice slide in there. But, you know, it's always nicer when it just slides in nice and easy. Um, and the blade looks a little thicker than we've seen in the past. So that's nice. Peg on the uh, side of the hilt there. Which I dare say will indeed peg onto his belt there. I think it will. Not right this second. Um, yeah, it's a bit strange that the, uh, the, the, the three and three quarter inch version did it so much easier than this. But it uh, looks like there's a little bit of extra rubber in the in the hole there, so yeah, we'll, we'll have to fix that one up afterwards. You know, we're, we're used to doing figure repairs these days. It's sad, but it's it is what it is. So here is Lola. This looks nice. Can't tell whether yeah they're articulated as well. The little wings and the little feet. Yeah, you can pop out and replace with the uh, little stand. It's just bent, but that's okay. That'll be fine. It's just a tight fit. So yeah, work out exactly where that slots onto shortly. Um, and also, blaster pistol that will fit in the holster. And we also have this little little saw attachment which will you just see the tiny little gap in there so that's cool we'll work all that out as we go with the figure so here we go well, let's talk about Obi-Wan Kenobi I like it a lot I think he looks good nice sculpt I still don't think it's the best I think the uh, Clone Wars um, Obi-Wan is still the best sculpt to date this one look bad though this one looks all right you think a few more sort of hints of grey in his hair would would sort of work nicely? It's just a little bit. Uh, the soft goods robe again, like they did with the uh, three and three quarter one. They've given him this sort of uh, sleeve sort of cut bit, um, and just the way it's sort of modelled. And then, yeah, it was definitely accurate to the show. I went back and checked it out, and uh, yeah, it worked. So here we just have him in his sort of loose shirt. It's good. And the way they've sort of used a simple base figure, you can sort of feel that if you push that in. So it's not a solid sculpt, it just means they can use, it's probably cheaper to do, you know, softer, softer bits like this to put over just the basic skeleton of a figure. That way you don't have to do a new sculpt every time. So that works well. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty basic outfit, which, you know, that is that is the whole purpose of it, is that he's, you know, hiding in plain sight. 
just looking at the gun, it looks good. Make sure that slots in the holster nicely. Indeed it does. Let's see if we can get the little, little buckle to pop over and peg in. Nice, that does fit nicely. So yeah, I'm just wondering where on the figure maybe it's you know, clamps onto his sleeve there perhaps i dare say that would be that's that's my guess for the little plastic lola stand maybe <laughs> doesn't seem to want to right this second yeah i'm not too worried about it lola will more than likely just sort of sit back elsewhere. Not sure. Yeah, I haven't worked that out. Because yeah, I'm not finding anywhere else on the field where that would work. Hmm. Never mind. That's okay. It doesn't matter too much to me anyway. I'm going to be displaying him with his lightsaber, which I will try and peg in again. Now that the uh, robe's out of the way. Okay, it does. So I was just being a little bit cautious. I love that it's sort of pegged around the back too, just to sort of hide it a little bit more. So that, yeah, that works all right. That, that actually slots in nicely. So yeah, take back what I said earlier. It actually works quite well. Just to prove that I didn't fluke it. There we go. And yeah, it's sitting in there nice and tight. It's sort of the sculpt on the shirt here, sort of allowing that the the pommel of the hilt to sort of sit up there nicely. So that's all right. Don't get any major interruptions there. And yeah, the robe nicely made. Nice fabric. It does have the butterfly joints in the. Uh, in the shoulders as well so you can uh, definitely pose him up nicely for his first duel with Vader so yeah he's a, he's a good looking Obi-Wan definitely not the best in my opinion but still a very nice looking Obi-Wan Kenobi and uh, yeah very nice to have Figures from the show, I've said that in some of my recent reviews of some of the other figures from the show. It's nice to have them so soon after the fact um, that, yeah, it was literally airing, you know, maybe a month ago. And just looking at the way that sort of drapes over the head too, probably sits better than any other Jedi robe we've had in the past. So that's, that's good. I really like that. I appreciate that. That's nicely done. Just gotta, you know, pull the front down. That's looks good. He looks like the uh, the wandering Jedi. Very nice figure indeed. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate your time. Let me know what you think in the comments. Definitely hoping to get this figure out for some shots. So stick, stay tuned to my Instagram. I'll uh, hopefully get something up soon. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And like I said, appreciate everyone's time. And uh, we'll see you all on a future video. Till then, may the force be with you always.